Okay, everyone here should still be dead. Should be fine. Uh, we went in there. Over here we have a big question mark. Just behind the ladder. Just around the river bend. Oh, that's always up there. Great. Okay, then how do I get back up from there? Start from that way. This? Yeah, here we go. Everyone here dead? Yeah? Good. Oh wait, is it? No, they're not. Alright, cool. So I'm gonna have to run back up there again. Ugh. We're going one more time. I love the fishing hamlet. I just the aesthetic of it's great. Um, so the research hall. Uh, they were doing experiments on on people using the the newfound blood and uh, whatever this <laughs> the, the the healing church and well, I guess whatever the results were of those people that the big heads. Do you want to attack me? No. Um, and then here in the fishing hamlet, they talk about Bergenworth, and uh, they're praying to to cause to come and save them. Um, even worse, even worse in the the research uh, hall. Um, the scholars from Bergenworth came to the heck was that? The scholars from Bergenworth came to the fishing hamlet, and. Um, Slaughtered, mercilessly slaughtered everybody here. Um, it was it was really bad. It was just for uh, but that. And it was just for uh, for research purposes they killed everybody here. And uh, yeah, all of them are just afraid. So they're they're praying to Koss, uh, which we first heard uh, hear that name again. Koss. The first time we heard it was uh, Mikolash. He's asking Koss to grant them eyes. One thing to learn about the, the Great Ones is that they're actually fairly compassionate. They take pity on creatures and humans alike. If you pretty much if you ask nicely, they'll they'll grant whatever you want. Um, but yeah, Burdenworth came here and look at them. This all it's like uh, mud and stuff. There they're sifting through the mud here to find. Um, I suppose the the slugs. Anything in the name of science? In the name of religion, I suppose. Look, the nets filled with uh, with dust slugs. And now we're getting into the eggs, the little eggs of the slugs. And, um, some familiar sights here. The, uh... Oh gosh, he's still alive. The shells that we saw in, uh, the Hunter's Nightmare. 
that fell from the sky. This is where they're from, the snail women. This is what they're called, I suppose, the snail women. There's also uh, some cut content in Bloodborne of uh, the slug princess. We have we have yet to see the the slug women, but uh, it's just the same ladies except they're not in their shell. Oh god, all of them. Actually, a really cool wallpaper of these uh, snail women. I use them as my. Oh, there we go. You can see the slug ladies over there without their shells. I use it as my my background whenever I play with them. I, I do a weird thing. So whenever I play a a, a game or I want to play a game or whatever, I change it to uh, I find a wallpaper about that game and then I send it to my phone's wallpaper. So whenever I look at my phone, I think about the game. I don't know, did I do that? Is this weird? Is that just me? <laughs> at least this is just me. I mean, you wouldn't want a Stardew wallpaper, so when you look at it, you're like, Oh man, Stardew. I'd, I'd rather be playing that right now than whatever I'm doing currently. Look at all these slugs. I didn't even mention that. This is just piles and piles of slugs. There, there are a bunch of lanterns coming up, <laughs> so put on your frenzy resisting armor and uh, get out there. And make sure you have recitatives. Uh... Oh yeah, also, while the uh, snail went really slow, uh... The slug women don't have the, uh... The slowdown in their shell. So they are fast and they are dangerous! Oh, great, great, great! Yeah, that's great. He trapped me in a corner, so I couldn't do anything at all. That's that's fantastic. I'm really glad that it happened, actually. I'm ecstatic that that happened, because now I can just go back and pick up all my echoes, or just die again for the slug women. Okay. My freaking Whirligig saw is dying, too. I was trying not to use it. Um, or even uh, this way. Alright, how do I get back down there quickest this way? Excuse me, pardon me, don't mind me. And then, uh, going this way, right? Dodge the eggs, dodge the slugs, dodge the women.
No, not now. This is not the time to summon crap. Stop ringing that bell. There we go. Let's got my blood echoes back. Now let's fight him. Nope. Oh my god, the exact same thing. It's got me stuck in that corner. Oh, it's using lead elixir. There he is. Little oh, bitch. Just spams R2. What are you, player character? <laughs> yeah, I was getting a little ballsy there. I shouldn't have done that. Bloody trousers. Um, I think we're all we're missing is his cap. That should be everything we got. Oh, great. Yeah, that's great. Oh, I love Arcane. Ah, oh, perfect. Come over here and fight me like a slug. Alright guys, serious poll time. Uh, slugs or snails? Which is cuter? We really need to get to the bottom of this. Hey, don't attack me real quick. Thanks. I say slugs are cuter. I got the little eyes and they're small and slimy. You can just hold it in your hand like a little baby. But snails have that shell and it's weird. Okay, so let's go. Which way do we go? There's only one way to go. This looks like it might kill you. It doesn't. Hooray, we're alive. We're going to this well. we we'll find a, uh... Cursed Kin Hunter's, uh... Damp Blood Gem. Um... Any, any Kin Blood Gems you have right now, this next boss, you're gonna wanna... You're gonna wanna use them. Now we see this. All them praying over here. Uh, interesting enough, if you kill them, they don't drop any echoes. Oh, I see him. Now uh, this is a shortcut. Open this door, and it leads straight to your lamp, which is great. You're gonna be using this shortcut a lot. Um, all right, so let's. Oh God, it's Winter Lantern time. Winter Lanterns, wherefore art thou? This way. This way. Here we go. Oh, Jesus. Okay. And there she is! Great. There's a snail woman here, too. I don't even have that much insight. Come on. Give me a break. Die, please. Thank you. Drink, and we're good. Put silver bullets. Is this snail girl here? Where'd she go? Oh, 
Oh, there's more winter lanterns. I guess we can hit this place later. Let's go fight the other one first. Okay, gotta make sure I... Or not. I'll just take the full freaking frenzy. Ah, so close. I should have healed instead of uh, taking the sedative. Oh, I guess it's the Digimon stream is over now. Rip. Well, I didn't see much. But, uh... Huh? Oh, I guess I could. We going back, back, back. Oh god, I almost... Rip 100,000 souls. Oh, wait, that's... Nice. Now I have to fight the Winter Lanterns again. That wasn't worth it at all. Uh... Freaking Frenzy. There's more resistant armor you can get, like I said, Jura set plus uh, the Crow Hunter, but I just don't feel like buying them. I should probably just pussy up and do it. Let's see, nine durability left on this thing. Hey, wait a minute, you have my echoes. Get your ass over here. That's how you do it. So, if you go into uh, that well I said, this is where you end up. Um, there's a huge shark with a big hook, and you basically run around this area fighting them. There's also one up here. Look at that, look at that sweet ass. Um. He falls down halfway through the fight with this guy. You have to fight both of them. This is ridiculously difficult. Look, this ladder is like appearing around up here. This is ridiculously difficult, and uh, this is why you want the the shaman bone blade, so you can make uh, one of them attack the other. Because honestly, if you don't, it's 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 ridiculous. It's so hard to dodge even one of them, and dodging two of them is just crazy. This thing has one durability left on it. Great. Oh, there's mages here. That's great. Oh, I love lightning magic. Oh, yay. Where are you? I'm sure going to this corner is going to help me. Oh, there's multiple of you. Oh, that's not bad. Not too shabby. What was that a fool's blood jump? You died from that? How? Gosh dang it. Hey, buddy. Stop. Knock it off. Not cool. Alright, put silver. I'm gonna drop anything. Anyway, right over here is where you can get uh, the second blood rock of the game, unless you buy it like I did with Insight. 60 Insight. But you have to make it this far into the game to get your second- oh, these things are dead. To get your second, uh... Blood Rock. 
And then once more, one more from uh, being the quote unquote final boss of the Chalice Dungeons. Alright, where to now? I mean, I suppose that's kind of it. Let's go back to the shortcut. And, um. I don't want to fight the boss they're about to fight, so... I also don't want to go to the shark well. But I gotta do one of them. Let's do... Let's do shark well, I guess. I... I don't know. I'm gonna die a lot. I don't even know what I need. Uh... I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do for this. Okay, let's see. The gem. I don't think I got anything good, right? Nothing that works for this, at least. Oh, I did. Great. Shark well, I'm gonna probably want that visual attacks restore. Um, all top of cocktails, I don't have that many. I need to buy some more. Make sure you have <laughs> the bow blade, and then if you have any poison knives, this would be the perfect time to grab them. Molotovs. Um, I'm probably gonna go ahead and head to the underground cell first. Do I not have any Molotovs? Oh, that's great. Uh, let's head to the underground cell first, and then, um, let's see, maybe back to the research hall after that. So that we can um, give uh, Adeline the other blood brain fluid that we have. even drop anything? What else do you have to drop? Anyway, 
now that we have the uh, key to this guy's door, it's dropped by Simon. Yes. Changes. Such is the nature of man. He drops the blood letter, which I don't think I can even wield. No. Uh, the demented hunter weapon brandished by the Brador, the healing church assassin. The blood letter assumes the true and terrifying form after it draws upon blood from the inner reaches of one's body and soul. It is the only effective means of expelling tainted blood, or so Brador, isolated in a cell, continued to believe. It is a weird weapon. Um, top three weirdest weapons in this game? It's number three. A uh, McDonald arm coming in number two. Uh, it's a mace. Oh god, am I stuck here? It's a mace that you see when it's uh, transformed, which you use your own blood, basically commit seppuku, and uh, you infuse it with your own blood. To create um, a huge mace, like a great a great hammer, I guess. Oh, I forgot about this thing. Uh, to make basically a great hammer. moves and flicks an AoE frenzy, which also does frenzy damage to yourself by the way, I didn't mention that, but it, it does. Always doing Maria stuff. Balcony key. Oh, the stick trip. How extraordinary. Can you hear me? <laughs> well, she gives the balcony key. Which you can probably assume where it takes you to the balcony. Put my lock shield on for this. This is, uh, more lumen flowers, or lumen wood. It's, uh, this is where you fight the celestial emissaries. using arcane right?
just gonna go around to my shield though. Should be everything right. Then you get the black sky eye. 